sorry. How are you guys doing today? Now, I'm gonna have my meal, second meal, third meal. One of those, uh, I make four of these a day. Explain in many videos for these a day. Today is Thursday and I shouldn't be having sweet potato fries, but I am feeling a little sick, so I feel like I should consume a little bit more food than usual. So we're having mixed vegetables, sweet potato fries, and some chicken breasts. Chicken breasts, I just cook in a grill. Sweet potato fries, I fry them. I Sorry, not sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries, I bake them. And the mixed vegetables, I fry them. And the reason why I fry them is to get that smoky texture kind of that burnt look a little bit. I don't know. I, I just really found it tastes better than what I did before. I used to uh, steam them and you know over time that gets a little a little too repetitive. So I decided to do that. My sweet potato fries don't taste that bad today. I don't know. There's something I think that was cooked earlier that made it taste a little funny. Other than that, we're going to talk a little bit about what I am doing. So this week, which I did a four cut, four week cut, four week mini cut. Now, by the end of that four-week mini cut, I'll be five weeks out, meaning I'll have to do another four-week mini cut before peak week. I'm gonna move this camera a little bit so you guys can't see me here. So yeah, I have to do another four-week cut till peak week, and with peak week, you know, you should be prepared by them. There's no cutting down. There's no losing weight. You're just losing water weight, but there's no losing actual fat. Um, there's no gaining muscle. There's no shred like. You can't do anything. When it, once it comes to peak week, you should be ready, guys. Okay? Keep that in mind. So, I have, when I say I'm five weeks out, really, I'm only four weeks out. Now, I'm going to make another mini four-week cut prep, or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's up there. You guys kind of see it. Yeah. So, the reason why I did that is it gives you a goal. Now, if I made it eight weeks or ten weeks or whatever it may be, you know, I'm I'm looking a little too far ahead and I feel that I done that lots and I would have in my head that like oh I got 12 weeks still you know oh I got 11 weeks still or 10 weeks you know and that's why I took it week by week like yes it's it's still four weeks that's still about a month but looking at it week by week I made myself lose at least two pounds per week there are times and I've said this in other videos where I lost three to even four pounds in one week and it's just being consistent throughout now with this week I'm supposed to be doing 20 minutes of cardio this is after and before I work out. This is only, only, uh, only, only, only on workout days. Now I do. I would do fasted cardio in the mornings, and then I would do uh, after weights. I would do cardio in the afternoons. Now the fact that I work six times a week, work out six times a week, I'm gonna be card doing cardio six times a week. Um, double that because I do in the morning, and afternoon, twelve times. So that's a lot of cardio. So what I decided to do is 15 minutes. And now my goal, instead of 162, is 160 by Saturday. You know, it's hard to say if I'll make that. Because I was 160.8 today. But I did consume a lot of sodium and vitamin C this morning. Which I consumed a little more than usual. Because, you know, I have that sore throat. And I'm trying to get rid of it right away. I'm making sure I don't get sick and whatnot. Because it's the worst. one of the worst things to do is to get sick during a prep. You know, it just, like, it just adds on to the fact that you can't eat much. You can't... I guess consume much or variety I guess you could consume variety in this healthy to an extent prep uh, it just depends what you're prepping for now the fact that I prep for bodybuilding it's not the healthiest way to prep like for instance just go to the Canada's food guide um, and it states you should have a lot of you know carbohydrates and fruits and vegetables you know um, when it comes to bodybuilding it's a little different right um, it depends what you do it depends, like, there's there's a lot of factors. I'm just going to say a couple of them. Uh, it depends what you're eating, depends what you're doing, what you're doing it for, how much cardio you're doing, um, how much, how many calories you're taking in. Um, there's a lot of factors to that. So, you know, you, you got to keep that in mind, right? But if you're just doing this to be healthy and just to lose weight and be a healthy weight, you know, you could still do a bodybuilder's diet. Um, but a lot of diets out there, and bodybuilders do the same thing is uh, cutting down the carbohydrates and a lot of people forget about that cutting down the carbohydrates are a big thing and there's so many different diets that have different names but a lot of the case a lot of the cases are really is cutting down 
the carbohydrates and obviously almost every diet says no sugar i mean uh it's common sense but you know the majority of diets are related to carbs and there's a reason for that now with carbohydrates it supports you with energy to do things tasks whether you're at work whether you're going to the gym whether you're just doing something carbs is your first source now if you're lacking carbs what is your body going to use for fuel now that comes to question is it going to be fat is it going to be muscle Depending on what you do, it will be in a way both. Now, if you want to burn as much fat as possible, I give you two, I'm gonna show you guys two pictures. Now, this is a sprinter and this is a marathon runner. Now look at the difference. Um, with a marathon runner, they're a lot skinnier, but they could like, they could do that for so long. They could run for so long. A sprinter does a short pace, but they, they they're sprinting, right? Um, short pace, no, they're going fast, but you guys get the gist of it. You want to look like a sprinter or do you want to look like a marathon runner? Um, when you're doing cardio, I found that doing HIIT cardio burns better, better, burns more fat than it would if I was to do long, slow paced cardio. Now, if I could do long, slow paced cardio, I usually do it when I'm fasted in the mornings because to do HIIT cardio in the mornings is really tough. It does take all your glycogen stores, so pretty much all that food that you take in, in throughout the day, and that's why I do it after my workouts. But to do hit cardio in the morning, I used to do that, it's really tough and that could lead to muscle loss and that's why you should be taking some type of whether BCAs or whatever it may be. You know, I'm going really to depth in this but it's really simple guys. You know, maintain your diet, include cardio into your regimen. Um, I've made programs for people and, and you know, it, de it depends, like if you really want something to, to um, come to an effect and something that's more for yourself. Yeah, sure, ask someone to make your di your diet plan or your workout plan or whatever it may be. And it, it, like like a lot of people, a lot of people, they like having that goal. They like having, you know, something that, that sets them apart from others. So whether it's making a own private workout plan or a private diet routine, most people like to follow something that reaches to an end goal. Now, you could say all you want, like, oh, you know, you got to cut the carbs, you got to cut the fats, you got to cut whatever, right? If you just say it and you don't have that goal, you don't have that mindset, you know, it's not going to really do much. And I feel that like having a goal like I have up there, it gives you something to work towards. Now, if I didn't lose that weight, I know I have to work harder this week, right? So look at it day by day. Um, what I'm doing right now, 15 minutes of cardio after my workouts, 15 minutes in the morning, eating chicken every single day pretty much. Morning is eggs depending on how I'm feeling. And I'm using my little sh secret shake that I probably will show you guys later on. Um, but... And my, I mean, I mean, it's very simple, guys. Pre-workout is coffee. You don't need actual pre-workout. I don't drink protein shakes after every workout either. Like, supplements are not necessary. But, you know, I just want to say what I was doing. I'm feeling good. I'm 160.8. Um, I showed a little bit of my physique, I think. Um, but anyways, I mean, I just want to explain what I'm doing, you know, what I'm getting, what my, the results are. Talk a little bit just to you guys, the camera, you know, I mean... I, I'm I'm slacking obviously with these videos. It's up and down, but I mean it's it's hard. And I think if anyone decided to make videos, you know, you'll realize what it's like. You know, when you have all this to to relate to. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, please leave a like below. Come subscribe and get aesthetic bra.